What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Effective here bringing you yet another video here today. And in today's video, I'll be telling you the top five things that you need to know before playing the MW3 beta. So let's hop right in. Number one, the guns. The best gun in the game is the MCW, the ACR, by far. It is a do it your all weapon. Close range, long range, medium range, whatever you want to do range. It is literally the best gun in the game and it's not even close. The UMP, pretty good sub, probably better ones out there when the full game releases, but it's not too bad in the beta. The Uzi pistol. Now when I say this might be the most fun gun in the beta, I'm not kidding. Sniping is super quick, it's super fun. It's reminiscent of old CODs, and it's actually really fun to snipe in this game. It even sounds great. I can't wait for the full game to release so that we can actually use the full gun list because I actually can't wait to use them. Number two, Battle Rage. First, let me say that you guys won't experience what I experienced in beta weekend number one because they nerfed the shit out of battle rage as they should have but battle rage was like getting kicked over and over by like a little toddler that's exactly what it felt like they're imaging in your head right now what i'm saying and you can imagine how annoying that would be but i won't say battle rage is a bad thing even though it was during the six hour period Battle Rage can actually get you out of gunfights. It can save your life a lot of times. You can pop it mid gunfight, slide away, regen almost instantly, slide back and kill the guy. That was before the nerf. The nerf, I'm not entirely sure how good it is anymore. Uh, I stopped using it after like two hours because I thought it was cheesy and it just wasn't fun to use anymore because everyone was using it. So the less that you used it, the less that other people used it. Not the Battle Rage part, the, the beta, not. Battle Rage sucked. Number three, the maps. Listen guys, I know a lot of you are young that watch me and you seeing the maps that you've seen on the beta, you don't like the maps, you don't like how they're looking. I will say they gave us some of the worst maps to play in the beta, but I won't say the three maps that we did play, four technically because of Rust. But Skid Row, Favela, and Estate, they were very fun in the beta. They had a lot of promise, except for Estate. Uh, I did kind of lie. Estate sucks, regardless of what era you're playing it in, 2009 or in 2023. Estate's just a bad map. It looked good, graphically. Skid Row was probably the best map in the beta besides Rust. I didn't get to play Rust, unfortunately, but I will play it this weekend. But Skid Row probably played the best. Favela second, Estate third. Yeah, wait until the game's out to voice an opinion. I seriously can't wait for the full map list to be released so we can actually play it, actually see how the game plays on the old 2009 maps. I can't wait. Number four, the movement. Listen. I know a lot of you are saying that they should have never took in slide canceling out, should have never removed MW 2019's movement out of the game. But you guys have to know it's different developers for each Call of Duty, but it's Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer is making this game, but in collaboration with both Infinity Ward and Treyarch. Activision was probably thinking they needed a refresher, so they put boots on the ground movement with no advanced movement, advanced movement and sliding, dolphin diving, no jetpack, stuff like that. So they want a traditional COD from all the slide canceling. They wanted to make it slower paced, more tactical. I will say it was fun for a time, but slide canceling being in a Call of Duty is sort of what makes Call of Duty Call of Duty. It makes it arcadey. It makes it fun. It makes it cartoonish. The shit you can do with slide canceling is actually insane. But I will say, if you don't like slide canceling, the game is still fun regardless if you slide cancel or not. You can still be good at the game if you don't slide cancel. You can still be good at the game if you just post up. You can be good at whatever you want to do. But I will say, slide canceling, they should have never taken it out. Bunny hops, they're not in the game right now, uh, and they're quite ass. Bunny hopping is quite impossible. Too slow. Dolphin diving is kind of useless at the moment. It's really just for getting away from scenarios. And let's get into the last one, number five, the skill gap in MW3. So if you guys don't know what a skill gap is, it is the skill difference between the top players and the bottom percentile of players. In recent CODs, there really hasn't been a skill gap difference. This game actually makes you try to be good. Aim Assist isn't forgiving in this game. As far as all the clips that I've personally played and seen, it's not going to fully hold your hand throughout the aiming process. Like if you make a stupid play, it's going to punish you for it, which is nice. So it makes you learn, makes you adapt makes you learn how to get better i know some people are going to say no it's not like that you're delusional personally i don't really care i have my own opinion you have yours the game is just fun the game takes skill and i can't wait to play weekend beta too so that's the top five things that you need to know before playing the mw3 beta this has been your boy effective aka dallas talk to you guys later peace out Oh my god! Someone clip that, clip that now! Ho! Oh.